Hi guys, um, how are you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you how to apply for graduate research assistantship. So before you apply as a graduate research assistant, um, it's better if you know a few things. Uh, most of the people when they talk about graduate research assistant, uh, they think that graduate research assistant and research assistant are exactly the same, but they may not be the same. Most of the graduate research assistant are uh, working as master's or PhD student in university under the supervision of professor whereas research assistant can work in university or other companies uh, in a different uh, situation and in a different scenario so they may not be same but sometimes they can be same as well and also most of these graduate research uh, assistantship opportunities exist in the area of science technology engineering and math because most of the research investment goes to these uh, these areas uh, and we can uh, say that uh, some of the opportunities exist in the areas such as history and uh, psychology and arts uh, but uh, the in but because the investment is lower compared to the area of science technology engineering and maths the graduate research assistantship opportunity is less in those areas and also most of these opportunities exist in american and canadian universities uh, because uh, in in american and canadian uh, system uh, the government like to invest research money uh, through universities and in university obviously you need to have masters or phd students to conduct your research uh, and if you talk about america alone it has 50 states and each state has at least two three good universities so they have many departments in the area of science and technology and then they will need many graduate research assistant to conduct the research so most of these opportunities exist in american and canadian universities however there are few opportunities in europe and australia as well and also it's easy to get through professors um, if you want to work as a graduate research assistant uh, because if you directly apply through department or universities then the competition is very high and the chance of getting a scholarship is very low but if the professor likes you if the professor is impressed by your profile then he can directly recommend you to the department and department will approve your application the thing here is to write a very good email to professor um so it, so you have to impress uh, professor by writing a, a very very good email which is uh, which is uh, which is showing your interest in the in the area area which uh, professor is working on so the key of good email is it has to have a very good subject line which is good and informative um we should actually focus on the on the purpose of the email for example you can say seeking graduate research assistancy and it should be very formal email should be very formal you should greet uh, in the way as dear doctor and the name of professor and then the closing of the email should also be very formal you can close email as kind regards comma then your name and the email should not contain contain any slang and abbreviations and email should be clear and concise there should be absolutely no spelling mistake and uh, and it's better if you attach your resume and cv because that saves that saves time of the professor uh, example email so you can start as dear doctor and the name of professor and in the first paragraph you can actually uh, introduce yourself um, so you can briefly mention your name or your background and then you can mention about uh, your education briefly in the first paragraph in the second paragraph you can mention how you came to know about the professor or their department or their research program and then also about the interest so you can write as as i browsed through the departmental website then i'm delighted to know that your research areas fit well within my research interest i'm deeply interested to work in your research program and can assist you well i would appreciate very much uh, the opportunity to talk to you about my interest and future plans and in the third paragraph you can mention about your degree what you did in your undergrad so you can mention as uh, during my undergrad studies you secured this much marks if you want to uh, if you want to show your marks marks um, obviously you'll have to show it later on during application so it's better if you show it if you have got a very good marks 
uh, which can impress uh, your uh, your going to be professor and then also you can mention some awards if you have have been awarded with for example i have been awarded with this award in recognition too and if you have presented your paper or abstract to certain conference you can mention that that will highly impress your professor and also if you have some publications um, then that is really good because the professors will like the students will always prefer the students who has few publications and then in the end you can uh, you can mention about attachment so you can say as i have attached my resume with this email please let me know if you have any questions regarding my education and experience and then you can close down by saying looking forward to talking to you and kind regards and then your name the the main thing is you have to identify your interest so in what area you would you would want to work as a graduate research assistant and then you would you will have to find professor in your area and then formulate a very good email and don't just write one email try to reach many professors in your area and then after you write very good email to them then wait for the opportunities thank you so much uh, guys for listening to my video and please do not uh, forget to subscribe to my channel and i'd like to wish you good luck in your application thank you